What is up guys, I am in my house with Chad. Previously, I've asked you guys to send Chad some dumb gift of some sort, so here we are with a bunch of potential gifts. I'm not really sure, it's gonna be a long video. So before we start, make sure you go up here and uh, turn your freaking ad blocker off if you don't, because this video is gonna be a nightmare for me to edit, and then refresh the page. And now let's start the video. I'm gonna move some of these aside real quick so you can see us. Chad has been tased. He eats crap all the time, and people have sent him hundreds of letters of hate mail. So we tried to switch it up, and I asked you guys to send dumb gifts. And we have a lot of stuff. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at it. It's been sitting in my house for months. Chad has been nowhere to be found. I've called him. I don't even know how many times to try to get him to come over here and open these gifts. He clearly doesn't care about you guys. On the bright side, I think we got some leftover hate mail. He also has Christmas gifts, so it's going to be joy and hate. It's going to be the best of both worlds. Today we're sitting in the suicide forest in oh, Japan right now. Chad's been feeling kind of down, so hopefully some of these gifts will bring him bring him up. Because I don't want to I don't want to Logan Paul him. This one's from Adam Peterson in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ho ho ho! It's a Christmas present. It is middle of January. You're a little late, Chad, but open it up. Let's see what you got. I'm going to sit here and eat spaghettios. <laughs> what is it? It says I suck. <laughs> Some old deodorant. <laughs> He's got a an empty thing of deodorant. <laughs> a band-aid. <laughs> I can't close it. I got a yellow chain. <laughs> Don't put that on my table. <laughs> Nice, these are quality gifts. You guys are good. On a, a wrinkly note, dear dog shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to read this fast, I guess. Oh, this is dope. What it's is a it? NAS car cup holder. <laughs> a coast, coast or a koozie. Yeah, that's koozie. what they call it. Got a bike reflector. Nice, these are quality gifts. What kind of grip is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good this is a good grip. <laughs> what is that? A pocket lint? <laughs> With hair all over it? Ew. That can stay in there. Some, some Dan's crap stickers in there too? A, a broken gyro cable thing? Oh, that's thank you so much, dude. There's there's more. I wonder how much Adam paid to send this from Raleigh. It's quality gifts. There's a, there's a Dan's comp sticker and a... Dan's crap? Old bearing. I'm gonna just read this letter as fast as I can because it's a long video. Here we go. Dear Doc Shit, you are a disgusting scab on the knee of a meth rattling prostitute. You suck. You remind me of a mud crusted, shit covered, tick infested, sore infected, stimmy warthog. Your hair is like a dead, smelly, petrified octopus and makes me vomit. As I am forced to watch you barely succeed, I can't help wishing for sudden onset diarrhea. Actually, that's where Chad has been no. gone this whole time. No. Zoom in on his pants in the last video. Were you gonna put a stain there? It was already there. There's a stain on my pants? Or anything to get me away from the screen. You are beyond pathetic. I have more style tying my shoes than anything you do in life. You are a zit on the face of another zit. Another <laughs> I would rather jump hurdles in a pit of broken glass barefoot than be seen with you. It's a good thing you're gay because us 6% should never have to worry about your nasty ass sneaking up on us. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl? <laughs> what? You said us 6%. But it said it was from Adam. Vape cartel. <laughs> Every time Spencer zooms in on your ugly ass face, an angel dies, a kitten is paralyzed, a gay boy is born, <laughs> I lose a piece of my soul. Your mom weeps. Please continue to eat shit. The moment you begin to succeed, I will stop watching. Signed, I fucking hate you. And then there's something on the back. Here is a picture of Chad being held over a volcano. By a crane. By a crane that they're navigating. There you go. <laughs> Another deodorant. Wow, I wonder what people are trying to say, Chad. Vape liquids. 
We got, we got scissors. <laughs> scissors, deodorant. Star Wars sticker. Nice. Another letter. You're the reader. Guys. I, I don't know how to read. I'm about to stop reading these letters because it makes the video probably 90% longer than it should be. Because everyone writes a damn letter. This is not a hate mail video. I just I just wanted the deodorant. That was enough. <laughs> but now I have to read a letter because I'm going to feel bad because that one person now I wrote a letter. you're just making it longer by talking. I know. Damn it. All right, here we go. Dear Chad, I hate you. You're, I bet your bike smells as bad as you do. Spencer is such a gracious person for taking you in that you smelly bum. So the reason why I stopped doing the whole hate mail thing is because it got kind of boring for us to read the same letter and over and over again. Some are really funny, but like this, this letter is not bad, but I'm not going to read it because it's like, it's just saying he smells and stuff. So I'm going to try to just skip through those. So it's just better for everyone because we, Chad smells. That's why he's got deodorant. I don't know what the scissors are for. Maybe these were for Skylar. I'm not sure, but we're going to skip the letter. Don't be mad at me. It was a funny letter. I read it, but we've already read this pretty much the same letter and over and over again. So next present. Here we go. Right here, Jack. Where's it from? Oh, it's from Solo LTD. This guy sent us some cool stickers last time. Let's see what he got. Last gift. Oh yeah, I like those stickers. Those are dope. Mm -hmm. Oh You're my! What it's wrapped. Look at this. He wrapped it in like vape wrap, wrapping paper, which is great. What's this? Don't vape kids. It says read first. Dear Chad and Spencer, Merry Christmas Chad. This is the one time of the year to be nice to Chads. Anyways, here's a gift for your hate mail suffering. You enjoyed the stickers I sent last time, so I'm sure you'll enjoy these. From Dan Thomas at solo.ltd. P.S. Small gift for Spencer as well. I have a gift, what? Yes! Thank you. Let's see what it is. You want to open yours first? You open yours first. Mine's bigger. Best for last. Yeah, good one. This is one free tase on chat. I got a tase Oh, I too. hate <laughs> you. No. Wow, I think I want to verify this now. Read it, guys. I hate everything right now. <laughs> it says one free tase for chat. Here, I want to I want to check in my one free coupon to pay you. Just do it fast. Just do it fast. Just do it fast. <laughs> <laughs> it still sucks as bad as the first time. That was a good gift. Oh, there's hell of stickers. Nice. Let's just show it one thing. Oh, it did. Nice. This is what it says on it. Let's see this one. No way. You got a solo shirt. Hold up. What is this? Oh, <laughs> wow. That is good. And the front says, I hate Chad. I'm wow. wearing this all the time. That's a good shirt. Let me show everyone real quick. That, that's amazing. We got the I hate Chad. This is actually a picture someone drew in the first hate mail that he must have screenshot or something and got the design. I don't know how he did it. And it has I hate Chad on it. That's a cool shirt, man. And we got stickers. Hit the pole right here. Would you would you buy one of these shirts? I would. I would wear that too. You're doing <laughs> your bike's in your butt. Cuz that's where he pretty much likes it. This is amazing. Here you go. Dalton Goodwin. Check it out, Chad. What is this? <laughs> You look intense, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you, Chad. <laughs> nice. That's funny. I like that. Check her out. Nice. Look, they're identical. <laughs> this one's a little more angry. There you go. Alright, next one. What's in here? This one could be anything. Feels like there's a coin in here. This one's from Tyrell in Indiana. Here you go. Cool looking envelope. Dude, I used to have one of these a long ass time ago. What is that? It's like a little thing that you just... It looks like it's for a cat. 
<laughs> I'm done. I got what is this key to? It's These are some cool stickers. They sent him a key. Is Weirdos like a brand? I don't know. Because this playing? one says Weirdos too. These stickers are dope. Tyrell, we have your address here and we got the key, I'm assuming, goes to your house. We're gonna get you out a plane ticket and just have him move in. <laughs> get him get him out of here, get him out of my life. So expect him soon. Next one's from Tiger in Pennsylvania. Here you go, open her, open her up, bud. It's a nice sticker. <laughs> Whoa, that sticker's a little graphic. I'm only gonna put it on the screen for a half a second. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, Chad doesn't know how to read. I haven't read anything since the 8th grade. <laughs> <laughs> I have recently come into a wealth of stickers. Some of them weirded me out, so I figured they would be perfect for Chad. They seem to fit his personality perfectly. I love watching with the fucked up people of the world. Keep doing what you're doing and maybe try to have more appearances of Riley the Dog. And maybe a Riley fan mail episode or a limited ad of Riley sticker. Maybe. I don't know. Riley's not really involved in my videos that much, but we can get him in the video really quick. If you guys have met my dog, we'll get him over here because I, I just had my SpaghettiOs and he likes to lick the bowl. And I don't even have to call him. I just gotta make this noise. And he will come. He has arrived. Yes. Come lick the bowl. Come. Oh, there we go. Lick the bowl. Riley has made an appearance in the video. Let's just sit here and watch him. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right. You had a breath? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> this gift right here is actually from me. Yeah? This one's from me. Open it up, Chad. You wrapped it with paper? It's an envelope. It somehow fit in there. And leftover. Oh, you used white vinyl. I was like, it's what just is sticker, this? leftover sticker. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Why? Let me see it. Let me read it. The people want to know what it is. Early result pregnancy test. If you guys have noticed, Chad's body's been changing. <laughs> I was concerned. So I figured he could just pee on this and we'll know. We'll know if it's true or not. Oh my god. I'm sure your man friend would love to know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, here you can put that with your stuff. <laughs> no, that can go over You want to try it out real quick? No. Alright, here. I, I don't know. The post office tried to save your letter. I don't know what it's from, so... I think... Okay, so... This one is from the United Kingdom. But I think, like, Customs opened it up. And it said there's two bracelets, two pound coins, and two notes. Um, they, like... What the heck, dude? But, like... We had one that was like this before. Remember that? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure what happened with this one, because it's all beat up and something could be missing from it, it's like ripped, is that this is an international letter, so when it got sent to the US, they probably were like wondering what was in it and they opened it up and took stuff out. So something could be missing here, but here, open it up. It's kind of kind of messed up, I feel invaded. Okay, gosh. What is this? Is this Nazi Germany or something? Can't even send a coin in the mail? I read this just because um, the font is big and also the people at customs probably opened this and read, read these letters too because the letter was open so it could be kind of funny to see what they read. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, so we'll get to that in a second. Here we go. To my fave riders. Hey Spencer. Suck my hair balls Chad. <laughs> I am a huge fan of your vids, dude. I've seen all of them funny as F word. By the way, British people don't hate you. Nearly all English BMX riders like myself wish gay Harry was drowned at birth. Whew. Good thing One Direction broke up. I'm 17 and working up to get a Sunday because my 
fat ass, I try not to say the F word, my husky ass keeps breaking frames. Keep making the videos, mate. You're both brilliant riders. Well, my favorite riders. Maybe if you said that in a terrible British accent, it would sound less boring. Ugh, my, my British accent has not been good. So I created a beautiful picture of him getting raped by vapes. <laughs> Hope you think it's worthy to go on the wall. Simply let me say, excuse me. Also, here are some English words to describe chat. Wanker, twat, cunt, horse, Norse, I don't know. Toss pot, bastard, also love the new frame color. It gives me a B honor. A be honor. Children, close your eyes for five seconds. Adults, review the clip. Or review the picture. In handcuffs. <laughs> with my pants down. Whew, that takes some uh, creative, uh, real creative. Good job. I like, yeah, I like the pants around the ankle. It's flicking me off. That's, uh, <laughs> this probably explains where Chad has been at. <laughs> okay. So he, he sent me two pounds to send him like stickers back. Sent me a gold gold bracelet too. Really? Yeah. Damn. Customs Some robbed gold us, dude. bracelets to match your crusty shitty palm tree necklace, dickhead. Damn. I feel bad, man. That's, kinda, that's really nice of you, but that's pretty messed up that like the customs took, they took the two pounds yeah. out of it, or maybe it wasn't them, maybe someone else broke into the letter somewhere and took the bracelets and the things. Um, but I'll send you some stickers. He sent me a return address. I usually don't send stickers out to people that just ask for them because it takes a lot of work to make them and I would just be losing money if I just send them out to everyone that asked. But since he sent us that and he also sent pounds to pay for like the shipping and stuff, I'll send you some stickers. Sorry that we didn't get that stuff. It's just unfortunate. But what can you do? Appreciate you though. On to the next present. Here we go, this one is very light, okay? You wanna use the... the sword? Does it not say how much it weighs on here? So this is from Jonathan Lee, out in Ohio. Open her up. Your sword sucks. Get a real one. No! <laughs> Stop the letters! Oh my it's god! It's long and small print. God! This is for me. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually from Jonathan Lee. This is for me, actually. He emailed me. And pretty much what he did is this is a 3D printed sprocket. Which is pretty crazy. 3D printing technology is pretty new. And it's kind of cool that a BMX rider has started making parts of it. And he said it's rideable, so let's open it up and check it out. There's my name on it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. What? Check it out. Is it metal? What's it say? Give Chad a haircut on the back of it. I don't know what it is. It's like, it feels crazy. It's like a hard plastic or something. Yeah, this plastic. That's insane. Check it out. I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool though. Check it out. It has my name on it. Now on the back, it says give Chad a haircut. Chad actually just got a haircut. Didn't you, Chad? Yep, trim my dreads. Besides that one long one, that dingleberry it's looking one. my favorite one. one. How was I going to trim it? Dingleberry. He sent me a link to his channel. I think it's just Jonathan Lee. And uh, he actually was like riding this. He's made a couple 3D parts. He's like made 3D pegs and a stem actually too. It's crazy that he just, he just, he has the statistics here. I have nothing, I know nothing about this. I'm guessing he's some sort of like engineer major or something. I looked at his videos because I was really interested in the 3D printing stuff and he shows some of it but I want to see like more on like how this is this is made. So Jonathan Lee we need we need a we need a video explaining how the heck you pooped out a sprocket. I don't know if I want to ride this. I kinda wanna just keep it. Cool. Next present. Please open very important. I'm gonna open it then. Says it's very important. It's from David Roberts out in Jackson, Missouri, I think. Good thing he left a note saying, please open, because I probably wouldn't have opened this if he didn't tell me to. Oh no. Oh no. It's Frisbee Golf's disc. Yeah. Oh no. Nah, I, this is bad. 
This is good, but it's bad. Do you know what, what this means, Chad? We have his phone number. We have his phone number. <laughs> Hi, Spencer. My name is David. I love watching your BMX action adventure films. I used to ride BMX, but I can't anymore due to old age. I seen in one of your videos you talked about playing disc golf, so I sent you some of my discs so you and can beat Chad's ass in golf. Keep up the hard work. Thanks, David Roberts. I didn't even check the poll. On the, the last hate mail we did, we, we said we'll do tased golf, but whoever loses the hole gets tased. You still want to do that? I need to practice first because I don't want to get tased. <laughs> you already got tased, you're still alive. <laughs> but it sucks because you haven't been tased yet, you don't know what it fucking feels like. Let me tell you. Beat, beat me in golf. I already have two discs, so now, now we can actually play. I think he sent you a putter, a chipper, and a driver. <laughs> Three discs. It's pretty crazy. They make different sorts of frisbees for different kind of throws. On to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one we just got in today from Chadwick Dean out in Georgia. This is for me. It's my name, get away, it's mine. All mine, thank you so much Chad for being in the video. I got all the cool gifts. Spencer, I thought you might dig these t-shirts. I made six and kept two for myself. Think of them as late Christmas gifts or something. Do with them what you will. Right, maybe I'll give one to Chad. <laughs> we got four t-shirts here, let's check it out. High fashion. A bar out? No bar out? Nice, look at that. I like them too because they're, they're they're extra husky, so they'll fit me. Check it out. Just says no bar out in the front, just like my handlebars. Thank you so much, Chad. Give me that. You don't get this. Look at it. You can have one. <laughs> That's right. I wasn't expecting to get any gifts, but so far I got a, a 3D sprocket and three T-shirts. Um, I don't know how to do it with the other ones. I just I got three different T-shirts. You got three of the same, bitch. So what? So what? I ride three times more than you. I got a pregnancy test. All right, five more and we're done. Oh, this one is also from me. <laughs> this one is also from me. Great. <laughs> this is a good one. I'm gonna have to get my camera and, and zoom on you though for this one. What could it be? What is it? <laughs> it's a dick. <laughs> what? What is it? I'm about to eat this. No, you're about to suck it, you freaking bitch. You open this. I can't focus on the dick. Whatever, Chad. Just freaking suck that dick. It's like sticky and weird and gross. It's not. No. 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 It's not even that good. Shh. 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 Hey, just because it's not good doesn't mean you don't do it in your everyday life. Now suck this dick. Oh! Come on! Suck dick! Yeah! You suck dick! Get this out of my face! <laughs> Alright, I got a little out of hand. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. On to the next gift. Alright, so what we have here is a detox in residential facility. Looks like uh, Silky Johnson will be waiting for Chad there. Let's, uh, let's read the letter and see what we got. This may be hate this, mail. This says, meet your maker. That's right, call me daddy. Okay, here we go. Chad Crusta ass fuck. Your mom bod gets so crusted over. You might need to molt soon. You damn crossbeat of clustered squirrel tails and crab crack stank. You already turned yourself into an addict of nicotine. I will send you a brochure for a retreat at Palm Beach to help you out. That's the flyer we got. I'm sorry, it's a funny letter, but I'm just so over the hate mail. You guys are late, okay? You're late, all right? It's funny, but it's late, all right? Come out of the closet already. We already know you're gay. You guys already just, you just saw him suck a dick. It's obvious, he's not in the closet anymore. It's just something okay? about emo Skyler. But seriously though, I can't keep going on. I might turn into another Skyler the emo. Much love, you guys are awesome. PS next page. 
Fuck you, Chad, from Corey Berlin Game. All right, sorry we kind of skipped through your letter. It was funny, but I already explained myself in the video. Here we go. This one is from Amanda Priest, Tallahassee. I'm just gonna start off with Chad, you suck. You eat shit all the time and you're always gonna. As long as you have that crusty octopus on your head, that's what your man bun looks like. Not anymore, cut it, cut it. Just saying it might balance things out if you cut that shit. And Spencer, you suck too? Amanda? <laughs> Amanda, did you, just, did you just go there? Can't even smell my damn name right when you mail my stickers back? Damn fruit booter. Both of you can kiss my ass. <laughs> did I spell it wrong? I'm sorry. sorry. How do you misspell Amanda? I don't freaking know, dude. <laughs> How the hell did I spell Amanda wrong is the question. I'm sorry. When I sent out all those stickers, I was like, I had like 50 to do and I was It got to you. This one's from Jamie out in Michigan. Let's open her up real quick. Got an actual Christmas card. You got a Christmas card? Yeah. Chad got a Christmas card. Let's read it. Spencer and Crusher Chad wishing you a happy holiday season and a wonderful new year. To whatever holiday you may celebrate, hope it's a great one. In a great new year, love the BMX action adventurers. Keep up the great content, Jamie Borden. Oh my god. We got a nice letter. We got a nice letter. <laughs> wow, what a nice change. That's so much nicer to read than repetitive hate mail. Thank you so much. We got two more, guys. We'll, we'll get right to it after this quick commercial break. And we're back. Here we go. Two more, as I just said. What is that? That's kind of cool. What is that? What is that? You're lying. No. No way. Is it a vape mod? What could it be? I don't get it. It's a vape bearing. Hexagon. Wow, you guys are hooking chat up with... Wow. That's sick. <laughs> oh my god. This is probably the only time you guys will ever see me with a, with a vape in my hand. I don't support vapes in any way, existed. but he gave him like a little dice spinny thing for it. Chad likes it, so thank you, Ryan. I didn't even know that existed. Wow. This is whole, that's a whole subscriber sponsored vape right there. I didn't even know these were a thing. Last one, we saved a big one for the last one. And it is, it just says monthly boxer. Um, I think I know what this is. All right. That looks familiar. Oh no, that does look familiar. <laughs> that, that that looks familiar. We might get some gummy bears right now. <laughs> I've seen that logo before. We know it all too well. Okay. You might just got a bag of dicks. No. Oh what? Oh. Oh, you got a secret Santa. Eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Chad got an eat a bag of dick shirt. Dicksbymail.com. <laughs> nice, dude. Sponsored rider, man. Guys. Dude, I'm, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to find this Instagram, okay? Eat a bag of dicks. We got to get Chad on the team because he's voluntarily eating dicks. We got a secret for free. Santa box. Okay. Let's see what he got in the secret Santa. And a coupon for 20% off your next bag of dicks. And I'm not even gonna lie, the last time I got these, these were pretty good. You know what? So I'm gonna eat them. I'm not usually one to put dick in my mouth. No one, not against anyone that ever does. But put, throw me a, throw me a willy, dude. <laughs> Quality content right here, okay. No, you're double donging it. <laughs> it's the back of my throat. That is not new to him. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for making it into the video. Appreciate everyone that sent us stuff. You guys are awesome. And uh, it was actually Chad's birthday a couple days ago. So give him a happy birthday follow and say some mean things to him on there. Cause I'm really tired of reading your guys hate for Chad right now. It's kind of getting boring for me. So just send it all to Chad. Don't ask for the PO box. Send it all just straight to Chad. 
He he might actually read it, force him to read because he hasn't read since eighth grade. Goodbye. Have a good day. Actually got one more, one more gift from Chad. Here you go, Chad. Got a new handlebars and a profile stem, courtesy of Chris Clayton. Off the bike he, he gave me to give parts away, and Chad needed these, so there you go.